All right, 1022, let's get down to Studio 61 and Margot Farrell. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. A celebration of culture coming up this Sunday in Hartford, but it's also a charity event with proceeds going to Hartford's Camp Current. All of this happening right in Bushnell Park. Joining us now, we have Rachna and Hari joining us from the Milan Cultural Association, telling us a little bit about this exciting event. 16 years, you were saying, and you can't believe how big it's gotten. Tell us a little bit about it. So this event started 16 years ago, and it started as something where we were trying to showcase just to the Indian community a place to come and meet. Now in the last 16 years it's grown into something where everybody from Connecticut comes in from all different towns. We have events where we are doing dances, we have stalls, we have food, street foods from India. In fact, I picked this up last year and I'm wearing it just to show everybody so you can buy things that are Indian but you can match them with your western dresses and Hari can tell us about all the booths we have this year. Yeah. And uh, why this make? Because the name is given incredible, incredible India Fair. And why it make incredible? Because we are supporting last 16 years to Camp Current to promote the underprivileged kids and youth development activities. And we have a various booth like we have for the health and wellness, meditation and yoga. They will talk about and they will show over there. As well as we have a competitive events like for the dance and different age groups. So this is going to provide opportunity for all. It's a family event. So there are, because we have a kids who are learning in the different institution and uh, Indian culture values, but they need a platform to showcase their talent. As well as along with that, we have a, as Rachna said, that we have a shopping booths like for the jewelry and dresses, Indian yeah, and actually, dresses. He's wearing an Indian dress and I'm wearing the Indian necklace. So, you know, you can wear the Indian necklace with a dress and still mix match. Mix match. Cultures you were talking and if you, about. you can buy something as Indian as it gets. You can experience the foods. You can learn about yoga. You can learn about meditation. I think my favorite part there is you see these little kids dressed up in different Indian costumes and we do like a fancy dress competition and it's adorable. I mean, if people could just come see these three, four year old little kids and the mothers spend hours dressing them up, looking like gods or different um, political figures of India. And it's it's absolutely wonderful. It's free yeah. and it's completely free. So I think folks at home love that free <laughs> and it's open to everyone. Family friendly events. We love that. Again, it's this weekend, Bushnell Park. It starts at 10 a.m. You guys said that the proceeds go to help Camp Current and, you know, talking about how important it is to include the family, to include the kids. Speak a little bit about why it is that you guys chose Camp Current and why it's important for you guys to give back to that organization. Because the Milan, the name goes meeting for a good cause. That's what the Milan is stand for. And we are bringing into American community to share, care, and participate in the economic issues with the mainstream. So they can understand because where, and we can support the local community. That's the whole objective of Milan. And as we see that this is a, like a multicultural, you see on 15th Sunday, you will see the multicolor, multicultural, and multi-talent, as Rachna said. So I think um, one of the things I do want to expand is that Millen has always tried to help local communities. And Camp Current is helping local kids in Hartford. So I think it's important for us as the Indian community that we came as immigrants with nothing. And we became successful. Indeed. And we want to give back, but we want to give back not just back home to India, but we want to give back to Hartford. We want to give back to Connecticut. And I think that's why this alliance is really important for us. Well, that is so special, bringing everybody together. We were saying how important diversity is. We thank you both for being here. Thank you. Hoping for to see you again for number 17, right? Yes, and absolutely. We, and oh, we right. part of that because none of the Indian event is complete without Indian food. And that's, so that's what you had me. You had to say nothing else but Indian food and I'll be there. And guys, will, yeah, there will be a mouth-watering food will be there. All right, you guys yeah. heard that at home, mouth-watering food. <laughs> Thank you. All right, coming up next here on the Fox 61 Morning News, lung disease.